Welcome to Draw with Chevy. Chevy, Chevy, Cheesecake. I don't know how to say your name. Anyway, this is not about me because I am just a lowly judge, judging the awesomeness of the following drawings of Pokemon. What else? That's all I know about, so don't expect anything good. Alright, so this guy is- oh my god, he just restarted again? Alright, so obviously we have unlimited media to draw with as it is being done in paint, so we don't have to worry about wasting. So it seems like the species for today is Ratatata and Raticata, Katate, and I don't even know what I was saying. So look at that, it looks very, you know, wild and scary. I, and also, I might add, sort of pregnant or just bloated due to malnutrition. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll try not to be too harsh. I don't want to be hurting anyone's feelings here. Wait, I'm very civilized, so I have a drink here. Mmm. Just like any good judge, Dr. Pepper FTW. Except I'm drinking Coke. I like Dr. Pepper better. Sorry. So back to this drawing. It seems like it is coming along very nicely. The colors are quite accurate, I must say. And look, now it's to scale. Wow. Alright, so this thing started out looking like a looking like a bean or a peanut or something. But all, then all of a sudden it like grew a waffle inside of its face. And oh my god, they're Twizzlers. And I'm not sure what food to compare the tail to, but that's okay. And then we have... I, I'm running out of food references, I'm sorry. Okay, but as one can conclude, it is indeed eradicate with a funny looking nose, which is awesome. Okay, we got the same tan returning from the previous drawing, which of course makes very much sense. Its tail is creeping me out, so it looks creepy. Its eyes are creepy and zombie-like, but that's okay. If I was to give this a grade, I would give it like a B? I guess. I don't know. I'm no teacher. Or should, are we doing this out of 10? Oh god, it turned pink. What's going on? Anyway. Mm hmm. Out of 10? I don't know. For the fear factor, as in like if I saw this in my bed, I would flip out. I would definitely give this on a scale of 1 to 10. I would give it I don't know, probably a 9. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not like I've seen weird things there. Anyway, moving on. Wow, we got, you know, some birds. I've always liked Spiro better than Pidgey. What are you doing erasing like that? Just hit the undo button, boy. All right. Okay. So, it does have a complex um, hair feather pattern. I see. I see. It's looking sort of abstract. Oh, it's deleting itself again. What's going on? All right. Okay. No, you don't like that either? Okay. See, we're going for precision here, precision. Now it's now it's legs, you know, very stereotypical. You know, what would what would you see on a bird? You know, those sort of feet started out with like six toes, been reduced down to three on each foot, which I guess is a plus. <laughs> oh god, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm so bad. Did you know my second job isn't being an art critic? Yeah, big shocker. Okay, so stripes on its belly. Yeah, I can see. I can see it has those lines going on. I can see that. It's very unique color off off red of its wings. Is he gonna go for the wingtips? Are you going for the wingtips? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. No, we don't need that. Do we need that? No, we don't need that. Anyway, so there it is. Oh look, they look like BFF. Look, they're like giving each other a staring contest over there. Who shall win? Okay, so here comes Firo. And so it's gonna be like a Firo. And you can tell it sort of looks like a Lugia right now, but it's a Firo, okay? So, um, quite, quite large wings in comparison to its previous pre-evolution. If that doesn't make any sense, don't blame me. Okay. Is this like an advanced version of paint? Because there are some weird, weird menus I'm seeing dropping down right there that I have not seen in paint. Is this even paint? What's going on? Anyway, so there's its freaky beak. It, yeah, that, that Firo is very much in the likeness of the Firo from the first episode of Pokemon. While it was getting electrocuted. Okay. Are you going for the wingtips? Yeah, you are. All right. Yeah. See, it's those kind of details that really make a drawing good. Okay. So this one is by far one of my favorites, just because it looks really funny. Okay. Mmm. Okay. We got you know, Ekans and Arbok. Trainers. Which one of these evolves into Sviper? Sviper. And we like, trainers. If you said. Am I really doing this reference? Arbok, you're right. Chabok! Okay, so, um, 
All right, not very many details on the here Ekans, but it's not like you can do much about that. It's sort of creepy, like I've never seen an Ekans stretched out like a hot dog like that before, but I'm pretty sure they would be more likely to be in that position if you saw one crawling around. So I do like the originality in the pose. I do have to give you some extra bonus points for that. I think you're going to Hollywood. Okay, really, this is an American Idol. And its tongue looks fleshy like um, a person's, which is creepy, but that's okay. Is it gonna shrink? Oh, I like the bigger, big, bigger. Wait, why is it down there? What's going on? Okay. That is not what okay who cares anyway, so moving on we got Jesse's choice Pokemon being a job. I'm just kidding. She didn't have it anymore, which is depressing, but um So we're connecting the bits, but you know gotta make it look smooth gotta make it look snake like oh There's there's the mouth. Oh, there's the eyes. Oh, hoo. okay, so That's uh, is this the last one. I'm gonna go with a go with a yes, okay um I think you did more in this video than you did in your last. No, because the first one included like all the starters. I'm talking to you being the person who made this video. I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure you're only going to watch this like once and then be like, why did I choose to have freaking Annie Carrots talk about my drawings? She's not even talking about them, but it's okay. You know, in a way, I don't even see the Arbok face right now. It's sort of just like... Like this angry man with a unibrow and something in the middle of his head, like giving me a glare, which I guess makes sense since you know, glare is an attack that the Arbok does now. So, I don't know. The end. I hope I'm, yeah. Oh, it's cute eyes. Okay, the end.